it's Sheree what's up back with another video in this video I'll be doing a tweet out this is my first tweet out on my channel and probably like my first tweet out since I don't know 2011 2012 before I just go into protective style mode I just want to knock out a cute little style I already have my wash day when is the last time y'all see me wash my hair on camera I did film that process and you can check it out right here in the cars to see you know my hair wet and stuff it's been a couple of hours I forgot to say my intro if you are new here and you've never seen my face but you like my face definitely be sure to subscribe so you can stick around give this video a thumbs up it goes such a long way to support my channel and I would love you I'm gonna first go in with a leave-in. I have not detangled my hair since my pre-pull. The deep conditioner I used didn't really have any slip, so I just didn't rake it through my hair. All I did was just kind of smooth it on because I don't want to cause additional breakage. You know, sometimes in the natural hair community, well, a lot of times in the natural hair community, we tell people to just add water. Well, that doesn't work for everybody, and for me, that doesn't work. So sometimes, I just have to apply more product. And yes, that means I'm going to go through more product, but it's just most beneficial to my hair to focus on applying a bit more product than trying to stretch stuff with some water. But that's just me. Everyone has to figure out what works for their hair and what doesn't. I did two shampoos today. So my hair is definitely more tangled than it is normally. So I'm just going in with my seamless comb. When I'm dealing with like tangles, sometimes I just don't want to be bothered with finger detangling. Finger detangling is definitely better, but I just don't always have the bandwidth for that. Now I'm gonna go in with some castor oil. Y'all know I've been a stand of using castor oil on my hair. It's cold season, but even in the summer I was killing my castor oil. So go with castor oil. If you're a team, no oils and butters, obviously that's not what we're doing here. But I respect everybody's decisions with their hair as long as you respect mine. Now I'm going in with a cream. To seal in everything and just for a little bit more hold I'm gonna go in with a mousse just to make sure that you know the hair is sitting how it needs to sit just I don't know if this mousse is any good hopefully it is like I said I'm just gonna use up my stash y'all I'm just braiding down about halfway and then I'm going to twist hopefully this isn't too chunky my ends are blunt from my fresh trim I'm trying to twist tightly and I'm just wrapping around my finger to seal okay I think low key I could do a foam only wash and go with this I might try that should I try it y'all should I try doing a mousse only wash and go cuz that's hitting that could be a cute little fro All right, y'all, finally, finally, finally finish braiding slash twisting my hair. And that is why I usually only do six braids and I throw on my bonnet because I'm just so lazy. Like, I've been natural for so long. I have so little patience, but the deed is done. I only did 11 twigs because I wasn't about to do 20. I did bigger chunkier tweeds but you know you can do what you think is best my hair looks really good I'm gonna allow my hair to air dry for like probably three days I'm not gonna hold you probably three days to make sure it's fully dried and then we're gonna do the takedown and see if I mean, to see if it's giving so I'll see you in three days but it'll be a second for you All right.
right y'all so this is the takedown I haven't stretched my hair or anything all I did was take down those 11 tweeds and this is the result um, I do need to stretch it I mean you can keep it like this I mean obviously this is a cute look but I do want to stretch it a little bit um, just to give me a little bit more length so I am going to do that but like I said you can keep it like this honestly first impressions my hair did not turn out the way I wanted it to I wanted it to be a lot more defined it's actually been three days later and my hair is soft y'all like my hair is soft so soft that I feel like I don't have as much hold as I wanted I wanted this style to be super defined and it's giving fluffy which isn't bad I don't mind fluffy like I love my hair you know what I mean I'm gonna accept my hair at any phase whether it does what I want it to do or not the foam didn't definitely doesn't have as much hold as I originally thought so I don't think I can even do the wash and go as planning to do with it because it's not much hold. All right, y'all. This is the final result. I'm gonna keep it funky. I don't love my makeup. <laughs> it's just not about my makeup. It's about my hair, and my hair is my hair is okay. My hair is okay. It looks effortless, although I put a lot of effort, and I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> if I'm gonna put in work and layer a whole bunch of products, I need them to come through, and that's not what we're having here. We're having a fluffy twist out which I love but I could just do this with the leave-in and oil you know what I mean I would say that my hair is a fail I would give it 6 out of 10 a yeah, little six whole five or six definitely let me know what your favorite selling products are what do you use to get your best twist out and braid out I have favorite products but I don't want to go out and buy them because I want to use what I have. You got products at home. So I'm not buying my face, although although I want to. But this will do. I'm definitely going to have to retwist tonight. Because if I don't, I'm going to have a straight afro tomorrow. The, the hold is so light. I don't even know what I'm going to tell this video. But thanks for watching me do a twist out and fail at it. <laughs> Y'all haven't given me a lot of compliments on my hair lately. But... A lot of this happens like when y'all like your hair looks amazing it's really a fail that y'all think is cute so I hope y'all think this fail is cute too I'll talk to y'all later thanks so much for watching and be well bye y'all